on day two. It is our Animal Kingdom slash Hollywood Studios day. Um, woke up, it was a little interesting of a start because seven o'clock I'm on my app, my Disney experience doing the Genie Plus. And I thought I booked Flight of Avatar for 10 a.m. Lo and behold, it comes through and processes, processes and I get my confirmation 7.45 p.m. at night. I'm like, what the heck? That's not what I did. I can't believe that it changed. So I proceeded and then I booked regular Genie Plus um, Lightning Lane rides. I did Kilimanjaro Safari first. I was able to get that and then later on I'll book another one after two hours and such. It's, it's a complicated process. I really am not a fan of Disney Plus at all, of Genie Plus at all. Um, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So I was really upset because it screwed up our plans, and so I ended up messaging um, uh, the, the, the cast on the app, the chat, and I said, you know, this is not what I had planned for, is there any way to change it, blah, 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 blah. Shortly, a little bit later, they responded and said, what's going on, what happened? And I told them what I was trying to do and what actually I'd intended. And they came back and they changed the time to the morning. Unbelievable, they were able to do it. So, tip. If you do have an experience such as that with Genie Plus, um, and you know, send a message through the My Disney app and see what happens in terms of them being able to help you and adjust your the times in order to meet your schedule. Because you can you can try and you see what happens. But um, I'm going to say that this was my it was a magical moment. Um, thank you to the cast member who was able to make that change for me because it really helped with the day. The plan is to be at Animal Kingdom for the most part of the morning and early afternoon and after 2 o'clock. I have, um, uh, I, I also scheduled Rise of the Resistance for us, um, an individual lightning lane for in, later in the afternoon, so we're going to spend the rest of the day at Hollywood Studios. So that's the plan for now. We'll see what happens. Um, and that's it. It's, it's going to be an interesting day and this whole Genie Plus thing and lightning lane, oh, it's a pain. So for people who don't know it and you know are still learning it make sure you learn the process um, watch the videos learn more about it before your trip because it can make a big difference and if you're not on the ball at 7 a.m. in the morning well you're gonna be and you know you're waiting on long lines depending on the time of the year so um, that's it we've got to get ready here and uh, finish up and grab some breakfast maybe we'll do it at Animal Kingdom who knows but that is the game plan and let's take off it's a little sunny out here. I'm out on the balcony before we take off and I just wanted to see the view. And, uh, look at that. So you can see the friendship boats taking off already. Going to Epcot and Hollywood Studios with stops in between at the resorts. And then look at this out here. There's this um, fishing boat, so at least this family's going to go out fishing. That should be a fun day. Early this morning, you could hear some bustle and hustle and bustle. These tables that were set up, it looked like there was a, a morning breakfast conference. Um, the Yacht Club has a lot of conventions and work group meetings. Um, so I saw a bunch of people with their work tags on there. So um, at least you're having a meeting at Disney property, right? All right, that's it for now. Let's take off. Well, good morning to Animal Kingdom. It's about 10 o'clock. We're heading to Avatar Flight of Passage. And miraculously, I did not beep when we got scanned in. So, we'll head in and head over to Avatar. We made it to Avatar. We're going to get on in two minutes and uh, take advantage of our lightning lane. Individual lightning lane we purchased. So, let's take a ride. And just like that, we are in. We got in five minutes earlier, so here's a trick. Um, whatever time you purchased, you can add five minutes earlier to get in and see what happens. Oh, we're coming up to my favorite part, the waterfall. We're in 
side, past the laboratory room. We're gonna board right away. That was so good. Always so good. Did you enjoy that one? Oh my god. And I did not close my eyes for any of it all. <laughs> I have in the past, because I hate heights. But this was just, I just let it go and just enjoy it. And it was so good. So well worth it. Um, you definitely enjoyed Avatar Light of Passage. So we just got off the Avatar. We are hoofing it to Kilimanjaro Safaris. We have like 15 minutes to make it. Uh, wish us luck. We'll let you know if we make it for our next lightning lane. Hello friends and welcome. My name is Maddie. I'll be your safari driver as we journey out into the beautiful Harambe Wildlife Person. Now one of the ways we know we're looking at Masai Giraffe is because they have an irregular shape to the edge of their spots. And every single one will have a slightly different spot pattern. Now there is also a type of... got in line about five minutes to spare but the lightning line was so lightning lane was so long but we got in and within 10 minutes we boarded the ride so definitely that was worth it but the lightning lane was so long even I was surprised um, we have uh, between 11:50 to 12:50 for our dinosaur so we're gonna grab some food now because we're starving and then we'll see what happens after that but we are still in Africa heading over to uh, Eight Spoons is where we get this macaroni and cheese with pulled pork on top. What did you buy? Two cookies. Two cookies. What else did you buy? I got anything else. Who knows? We got some cookies. What else did you buy? Something else? I wonder what he got. I wonder what he got. We'll have to see. But we're headed to Eight Spoons right now. Is it open or is it closed? Oh, where is it? On the right. Okay. All right, so we got our mac and cheese with pulled pork on top at eight spoons always a favorite i think i always get this otherwise we're gonna go to um flame tree barbecue and try that since we've never done that before how is it good We just wrapped up our lunch or a snack, whatever you want to call that, and now we're heading to Dinosaur for our next lightning lane. And uh, we'll see if we're gonna try to do anything else like Navi, or if not, we're gonna probably take off and head over to Hollywood Studios for the day. All right, here we are entering 
dinosaur. You walk right in. I thought you said a certain time. No, between 11.50 and 12.50. It's already passed, so we're good. I'm not going to film this because we've done this a few times and it's really dark. You just can't see anything. Not worth it. We are back in the room after our morning at Animal Kingdom and we grabbed a little uh, foot long hot dog and chili cheese snack um, from the sh shop take out downstairs at the Yacht Club here and we're just taking a little break um, but now we're getting ready to head over to Hollywood Studios I'm trying to think if we should maybe we're gonna take the Skyliner uh, to ride it over to Hollywood Studios since we're right next door to the Epcot International Gateway let's do that and then I don't know how long we're gonna stay at Hollywood Studios tonight because we will be back there tomorrow and so we do have Rise of the Resistance today and I also have a uh, Star Wars Star Tours so we'll see how that goes, but uh, it should be a relaxing afternoon. Hopefully the rides are up, because you know Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is always down. But we'll see. We are going to cut through Yacht Club, to the Beach Club, and then take the Skyliner. So, you. You walk along this path. We passed Alien Compass right outside the lobby. The Cruise Cup Lounge is on the left. I believe that's open, maybe. And Yachtsman Steakhouse. I know that's already open back in business. High end steaks is what is here. And then you gotta head outside along Storm Along Bay, and then you'll connect back on the inside to the Beach Club. We have made it into the beach club. Yeah, so Cape May Cafe. Here's Cape May Cafe at the beach club. This is a buffet for breakfast and dinner. More of a seafood place. We have not eaten there. But it's here in the beach club. And here we are at the beach club. Pretty colors. The closest resort to a park. You're less than five minutes away to Epcot. So keep that in mind if you love Epcot. And there's a boardwalk across the water. So we're approaching the International Gateway at Epcot. I'll wait here while you go find out. Oh, you can walk. And we're gonna get on the Skyliner, but why is it not moving? Interesting. Let's see what's going on. Why is it not moving? So change of plans, the Skyliner is down. So, and the boat is full of people. So we're just gonna hook it. It's fine. Oh wow. Well. Around the friendship boat. One more stop to Hollywood Studios. We made it inside Hollywood Studios. We've got a little bit of time to kill uh, since our Rise of the Resistance is until 4.50. We've got about an hour plus. So we're just going to explore and uh, kind of check out stores that we've never been to before. What, what path are we on? Sunset Boulevard maybe? So I ordered a frozen lemonade slushy, something cold. It's warm today, so let's see what this is. Really? 
just not fair, and I'll find Hans. Oh, so you might his heart with a true love kiss. There's the true love I was telling your mouth. Not but I did, but all this time Hans is leading a group of men to capture Elsa, not Koldo. First off, it's honor back to Hans to save the day. Hans is just finished the Frozen sing-along and now we're going to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance for our lightning lane. Here we go. And just like that we are in to Rise of the Resistance. So I have to say, the minute I sat down in the Frozen sing-along I was like, why did I do this? I'm going to regret it. I'm not a fan of the show or the movie. And I was like, oh, this music. I'm just not a fan. But I have to tell you, the actors on stage were the ones that made it amazing. Um, the gentleman uh, I forgot his name. He was hilarious and funny. They really made it in terms of a, a special event than just watching the film and just singing along. So, yeah, if you're into Frozen, it's dark, then it's definitely something you should do. Um, Once was enough for me, and it was cool and AC. So, okay, we're in the Star Wars right now, so we're gonna focus on this, and here we go. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to the car. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I'm working it. Then I think that. Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Try us. So it's been a while since, I, I can't even remember the last time we vlogged um, or recorded something. Um, we headed off to see Frozen, I believe that was where the last thing was. We saw that Frozen Ever After, that singing thing, and like I said, once is enough. And then after that, we went to Rise of the Resistance. We rode it. It's very different than Animal uh, Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom. It's just really spectacular in terms of just the technology and that. But Avatar Flight of Passage to me is like it just takes your breath away when you fly that thing. After Rise of the Resistance, we did Star Tours. We did that twice. We had a lightning lane and there was nobody there, so we rode it again. Um, I get nauseous and sick on that one, but you know, it's fine. Um, it was good to do. And last but not least, I was able to score a lightning lane for Toy Story. So in a few minutes, we're gonna hop on Toy Story Midway, Midway Mania and ride it. And behind me is the Slinky Dog. And uh, after that, I think we're going to call it quits for today. We're going to actually do something different and interesting for dinner. So I'll take a video of that later after we ride Toy Story Mania. But it's been a, a jam-packed day of Animal Kingdom and, and Hollywood Studios. Every round I was winning and then at the end at the bonus he beats me. I don't know uh, how does this happen? Uh, so frustrating. You beat me by ten thousand. Oh there we go. You beat me by ten thousand. You got lucky at the end. I think I might have beat you by one. Uh-huh. Ten thousand. <laughs> so much fun. And I think that wraps up our Hollywood Studios adventure for the day. <sighs> what? Wrap it up and... Quiet. <laughs> rude. This is the thing. This so is rude. That device in that show. Rude. Here is the new barbecue sit-down restaurant. This is the entrance. The Roundup Rodeo. 
This is where it's going to be. I'm not sure when they're going to open it. But this is the entrance right behind Woody. So it'll be interesting to see when that opens up. So long, Hollywood Studios. It's been a great afternoon. Rise of the Resistance was the highlight and squeezed in a couple Star Tours as well as Toy Story Mania. Not bad. So let's see, are we going to take the boat or the Skyliner? Let's see what's open and available. Well, it looks like the Skyliners are not moving. So rather than risk who knows what's over there, we are just going to take the Friendship Boat back to the hotel. Um, line isn't too bad and hopefully one comes soon. But at least we have options. Or we can also walk, but my feet are tired. Let's just get on the boat. Well, we are back in the room and uh, we just ended up ordering a mobile order through Ale and Compass, the restaurant here at the Yacht Club. And um, perfect timing. Uh, it was ready to be um, prepared as soon as we got back to the hotel after our trip to Hollywood Studios. And so let me show you what we got um, because here's the game plan for tonight, but let me show you what we got. Okay, so we just laid it all out here. We started off with a lobster um, chowder, I believe chowder soup with lobster. We're just gonna we're just gonna share that. And I got the braised short ribs with um, potatoes and some veggies in it, I believe. And then we also got the uh, protein bowl, uh, which is a favorite. And then last but not least, oh, there are also some crackers that they gave us. Last but not least is the chocolate cake. Here, let me open it up for you. And so last but not least is the chocolate cake. It's, I forgot how many layers there are in this cake. Um, it's really good. So all of this with the annual pass discount came up to about 60 something dollars. So not bad at all. I mean, you know, great food at Ale and Compass and uh, get it to go. We're gonna eat it here in the room. The game plan was, since we're coming back to the hotel early tonight, the thought was, and we've got this great view out here, we are gonna watch the Epcot Harmonious show at nine o'clock from the balcony. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever, we're ever gonna get a balcony view again like this, so we're gonna take advantage of it. We're just gonna enjoy dinner here, relax, enjoy, and then we'll watch the fireworks from the balcony. Um, it's a little interesting because it's, uh, what night is it? It's, it's only a Tuesday, but there's this corporate event going on down below in the, the boardwalk area. So there's a DJ, there's some music going on, a lot of business people and their meals outdoors. And um, yeah, so there's music out there going on and hopefully, you know, it'll be fine by the time the fireworks come on at nine o'clock. But that is game plan. We're gonna dig into our dinner because it looks really good and we're hungry. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're out here. We're watching the fireworks from our balcony and there's a party going on out here. See this party? So we'll see how much we can see from here. We can kind of see some of the water projections behind the um, lighthouse. <laughs> 